Good morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. My name is Katie. I am the Assistant Director of Intercultural Programs here at UT Dallas. Welcome to our live session. Thank you to those who have attended previous ones, and I'm so glad you've come back. And if you're new, welcome. Just a few logistics to go through. You can see and hear us, but we cannot see or hear you. You will be able to ask questions. We have a comment box on the top right side of your screen, and you can type questions there. We'll answer questions at the end of the session. Additionally, closed captioning is available in several different languages. So if you're looking for a little bit of language support, that is going to be available. Uh, next slide, please, Flower. Thank you. So today is our UTD Big Howdy presentation. And the UTD Big Howdy team is actually a team of community volunteers who support international students in their transition to UT Dallas and to the United States. And we partner with them all the time in our office. They are an amazing group of people. And without further ado, I will allow them to speak and you can get to know them and their services. Darren, you are all up. <laughs> all right, hello. It's good to be here uh, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whatever time it is where you are. Uh, my name is Darren Clements. I am the coordinator for uh, the Big Howdy uh, group, a collective group of different organizations. Um, we've been together probably, I guess, about three years now. I think fall 2017 is when we started at UT Dallas. And um, just a whole group of different student organizations, uh, uh, just different volunteers. And we have over a thousand uh, different volunteers. And uh, we've, uh, yeah, just with the help of uh, the ISSO and the ICP on campus, uh, we just provide services uh, that welcome international uh, students to UT Dallas. And so this is Jordan uh, behind me. We're trying, we're in the same computer, trying to keep a, a safe social distance here from each other. Uh, but you can go to the next slide um, to kind of share about a little who we are. We did have a video, but I don't think the video is going to be working. So the next a uh, slide, a little bit about uh, who we are. Um, if you go to our uh, website, our website is utdbighowdy.com. I encourage you to do that and kind of explore uh, the um, services that we provide. Jordan's going to be talking a little bit more about those service, uh, services in detail. Um, but like I said, we've, we responded to some needs of some students uh, student organization several years ago uh, at a global voice meeting, uh, which meets usually once a quarter. And we were there just listening to some of the needs that they had. One of them was uh, airport pickups, um, just helping uh, the campus with uh, getting students uh, from the airport uh, to the campus was a huge need. And so we just uh, reached out to see if we could help in any way. And so we decided from that point uh, to provide more services than just airport pickups. And so you can go to that website and find out uh, more about uh, how we how we serve and um, mobilize our volunteers to do that. We like to create a welcoming environment, uh, but the Really, we want to create like a uh, the PowerPoint says a home away from home experience in America, and that's really what we're all about. Uh, and even though I know this uh, this semester is going to look totally different for many of you, um, we're still here for you. And so we want to provide services the best way we can virtually online and we still have many of those services available uh, for you, uh, even at a distance. You can experience uh, America and Texas and UT Dallas uh, right from wherever you are, whether you're here in Dallas or uh, overseas. And so that's why we're here and is to um, uh, to serve you to, to come inside the uh, intercultural programming department and help them uh, serve you in any way that we can. Uh, Jordan is going to go if you go to the next slide to go through some of the services that we have uh, to offer you. And I'm going to turn it over to Jordan. If you want to go to the next slide. 
Hello. Um, yeah, so we offer many services here uh, at UTD for international students. One thing to know is that during this time uh, of COVID and things like that, uh, all of these are subject to change, whether uh, on how we're doing them, if we're able to do this. And so always, you can always look at our UTD Big Howdy website uh, to kind of know what are we, what are we able to do? What are the COVID protocols for all these different things? Um, and what are we trying to do to keep you safe and keep us safe while still trying to serve you as the international population here at UTD? Uh, some of our services, Darren has talked about airport pickups. This is something uh, currently uh, is unavailable um, yeah. at the moment, but hopefully that uh, the um, that will happen again in December. Um, and then again in next fall and things like that. Um, then we also offer furniture giveaway. Uh, this is something that will happen throughout all semester and you will again be able to go to our UTD Big Howdy website and fill out a form uh, if you are here in the Dallas area uh, specifically to get furniture, but that's gonna be available to you as a student here they offer we offer english conversation classes uh, where you get to meet with an american here and get to learn uh, some of the things that we say that might be a little weird and uh and so that's a really great time that's going to be something that's going to be offered if possible on campus as well as on uh zoom calls and things like that and so uh, you'll be able to participate th with that all year long um, and then, as you can see, we have a few other things, friendship partners, where you can get invested with an American here, uh, as well, uh, home groups and other student organizations that are involved. If you can go to the next slide, we will talk a little bit more about airport pickups, just to give you a heads up about what that is. Uh, as you get here, we have a lot of volunteers that will come, uh, and are preparing and are, are excited to meet you as uh, you first arrive here in the Dallas area and take you to wherever your drop off location is, whether it's on campus or an apartment off campus or anything like that. Um, and so we are here, excited to meet you um, and to, to be able to, to provide that service for you. Again, all this information you can find on our website, uh, specifically our COVID protocols. Um, as we continue to serve international students, we want to make sure our safety is number one. And then if you can go ahead and go to the next slide, I'll turn it over to Darren. All right, furniture giveaway. Uh, this is uh, something that uh, we've been doing actually uh, ICF is a student organization that I'm an advisor for, and uh, they've actually been doing furniture giveaway since the late 1990s at UTD, um, just under that organization. Uh, so it's something that's, a, it's it, most of you, when you do arrive in Dallas, most of you probably will not live in on-campus housing. Uh, there's many apartments that are nearby uh, that the, the Comet Cruiser uh, buses will uh, pick you up and, um, they're much more affordable housing uh, nearby. And so, but the problem is uh, most of those are unfurnished. And so uh, as international students, I think a lot of you, a uh, majority of you are here as grad students, only here for a couple of years. Uh, maybe some of you are PhD students and you're gonna be here longer, but the majority are, are only here a couple of years. And the last thing you wanna do is invest a lot of uh, finances into furniture to furnish your apartment. So. Uh, that being said, the uh, intercultural programming for many years has provided a storage unit uh, right near the campus uh, for um, it's a 10 by 25 uh, storage unit that they pay, they pay for year round. They provide it and they just allow us to manage it. Uh, we get uh, volunteers provide uh, furniture donations and um, yeah, through uh, many different um, uh, churches and uh, uh, different uh, volunteers uh, to help with um, with the furniture. And this is a year round program. We usually in the fall, we do have a usually have a furniture giveaway e event and it's pretty fun. Uh, you can 
uh, you register for that and uh, you can sign up for uh, big pieces of furniture, smaller pieces of furniture, but you can also, if you look at the picture on the PowerPoint uh, slide, you see lamps, we have small houseware items, utensils uh, that you can rummage through and just and take uh, whatever you need, you and your uh, apartment needs. Uh, but unfortunately, due to COVID, we're not going to be able to have that big event uh, this fall uh, for those of you that are here. Um, but we do have a registration form that's live right now. If you look at the bottom, uh, the registration, uh, utdbighoudy.com under furniture giveaway registration, that form is available uh, for those of you that are, are uh, in Dallas or will be in Dallas this fall. Or uh, if you keep this uh, this um, web website, this link, uh, when you when you arrive for next spring, if you come, uh, go ahead and register for that. And um, even though uh, we can't have a big event, there's uh, we do have a protocol uh, and we can get you furniture uh, and make it available to your apartments. And so also know that it's not just uh, about receiving furniture. I have a truck um, and many of our volunteers have trucks. We can help you with moving if you're moving out of your apartment from one apartment to another. Uh, so if you would just uh, go to utdbighoudy.com to talk um, to register for that. Um, Jordan's going to talk more if you go to the next slide uh, or is that me? That's you. OK, I'll talk more. The next slide is about English conversation classes. Um, if you um, need help with your uh, English, uh, grammar, um, idioms, uh, just your um, even um, uh, I've learned that students need help even with their uh, interview, how to do how to give a better interview or um, um, talking more about the American corporate culture even has its own language. And so uh, we have a lot of volunteers that are here to help you with that. Uh, you can sign up at our uh, ICF. This is under not the UTD Big Howdy website, but if you go to ICFUTD.com, uh, that's the organization that I'm an advisor for uh, under conversational English, English sign up. Uh, we're offering classes uh, twice a week. Um, one of them is usually on campus um, on Mondays, and the ICP uh, is very gracious in, in reserving a classroom on the campus for us. Uh, but due to COVID, we are offering those online. Um, we're even ha we have uh, plenty of volunteers where we can even do one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversations with you online. Uh, so please take advantage of this. Um, if nothing else, it's a good way to meet an American friend and just to dialogue, to, to uh, have conversations with, uh, to ask questions. And so icfutd.com, conversational English, uh, just to help improve your, uh, your confidence in speaking English, improve your grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary. Uh, but you see the classes, online classes that are available are Tuesday at 8 a.m. Uh, that's Central Standard Time, Central Time Zone. And then on Thursdays, if you're here in Dallas, uh, 12 noon uh, Central Standard Time. And so uh, English Conversations uh, is a great way. I, we also have other um, volunteers that not only help in the class itself, but they also help you outside of the class with your resume development. Uh, many of you want to get jobs. All of you probably want to get jobs. So we have uh, people that help you with developing your resumes. And so that option is even available if you sign up uh, for this as well. Um, OK, moving on to the next slide, please. And Jordan's going to talk about friendship partners. So the next couple of slides are ways that you can connect with Americans here um, in person or on Zoom. Um, and so one of those ways is through friendship partners. We know that many of you students who study at UTD don't come just to learn, but are also coming to experience American culture and, and learn what that looks like and, and be involved and build relationships with people as well. And so these are the two things that I'm going to talk about next are great ways to do that. And one of those ways is friendship partners. This is where you get to connect with an American or an American family and get to kind of learn about how 
we live here? What is our culture? What uh, things do we have to share with you? And and what do you have to share with us? We also want to learn about your cultures and, and how are things done back home. And so this is a great thing that I have found, um, especially with my international friends, that when they get to, when you get to share your culture and you get to be involved in each other's lives, it just makes it a little easier when you miss home and um, when things are going on that you have someone here that can help you through, you know, what does it look like to get a bank account? What does it look like to get a phone? What is it, you know, how do you go about when you go to someone's house? Do you bring a gift? Do you bring food? What What do you do? And so uh, Free Share Partner is a great way to do that. It's definitely more of a one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two kind of thing. And so uh, it's just a great way uh, to learn about cultures and to share life with someone else. And so we really encourage that. Um, and so again, you can see at the bottom, like there's a link there that you can go and, and sign up if you would like to be a friendship partner. And we have people who are gonna meet face to face. We have people on Zoom. And so if you'll go to my next slide, we'll talk about home groups. So home groups uh, gather either weekly or bi-weekly. And it's, as you can see from the picture, it's a great time. Um, and so this is a time that you get to share a meal learn about cultures as a group and and not just like uh indian culture chinese culture uh, and american culture but like all sorts of people who can come and be involved and learn from each other and so this is a great way to build a huge community of people who are diverse and so we want to encourage you to think about joining one of the home groups again these are going to be uh either in person or online depending on what's going on um, and so there's something for everyone to be a part of, even if you're not here in DFW right now, if you're back home overseas, like there's a way to join in those. And so again, you can go to those home, the home group link there at the bottom uh, and register and we can get you connected to one of these groups or a meeting and you can go ahead and start building relationships even before you arrive. So I'm going to turn it back to Darren and he's going to talk about a couple of things. All right. Um, yeah, obviously just talking about, I know you're already on the next slide, but just want a couple of things on the home groups. Obviously home groups look very different than this picture in this slide right now. <laughs> you see a lot of students and a lot of Americans uh, having fun, uh, but I guarantee you that you can still have this kind of fun, as much fun uh, with some of these home groups. We have uh, ICF home groups. We have over 20 home groups uh, right now that currently meet um virtually and so um yeah just it's another way uh, to experience american culture and um and just a home like once again a home away from home uh, for you at utd um student organizations um we have uh several organizations that collaborate together to make up what is big howdy you see the the picture there kind of behind the the words uh is kind of our team uh actually that is our team mm -hmm. uh some of them are missing in that picture but we it makes up a, a large group of people that um that offer these all these programs that we have um we have alpha a group that we'll uh, talk about here in just a minute bsm uh, baptist student ministry that's the one jordan uh is a, a campus staff for uh we have focus fellowship of christian university students uh, which is primarily uh reaching um a lot of the american undergrads but one of the things they learned uh, since th there's a growing undergrad population at UTD, uh, we're trying to get a lot of the undergrads, American undergrads, plugged into some of the international students that are coming as grads. Some of them are undergrads as well. And so FOCUS is intentionally trying to bridge uh, that gap um, with the undergrads in the grad program. So they're doing a great job there. ICF is another one. That's the one I'm an advisor for, International Christian Fellowship. Uh, which provides uh, many services um, in our varsity. Uh, Taylor Kirby, uh, you'll you'll get to meet her at the uh, welcome party uh, we have. Uh, she's part of the the inner varsity team, uh, and she also heads up uh, some of the grocery rides that we do uh, when things aren't uh, closed like they are now. Uh, we also have RUFI Reform University Fellowship uh, International. Uh, David Billingsley. Uh, so, and there's other organizations that also uh, help us uh, in this collaborative effort. And so, 
I'm going to turn it over to Jordan for the next to talk about Alpha uh, and uh, BSM. Um, yeah, so if you, you look there at the Alpha, sl alpha slide, which should be pulling up here shortly, um, Alpha is a time that you get to come and have food. It's usually over dinner. Uh, there's a video and then discussion. And this is something that we encourage encourage you to join and talk about. Um, as you're here in uh, the States and, and around, it is a good time to kind of just talk about different religions. There's so many that in different perspectives here on our campus, and we want to hear about them. We want to talk about them. We want to know um, more about them. And the only way we do that is through conversation. And so we just as a group want to invite people to Alpha to come have dinner, get to know people and have open discussions. Um, and then if you go to the next slide, we'll talk about my organization, BSM, Baptist Student Ministry. Uh, we do a couple of different things throughout the week. Uh, one of the things we do, a, usually a free lunch on Tuesdays, um, when it we've been able to, it's been about 250 to 300 students who come and, and get to eat a free lunch. Um, that looks different right now. Um, we're not 100% sure what it's going to look like um, or what's going to happen with that. Uh, but that is something that we are looking into. And uh, right now we have it for Tuesday 12 to 1 uh, on campus. And you uh, will get to hear more about when that will be. We'll be posting things uh, on campus and things as well. And then one thing that we love to do, we love to have conversations and talk. And so we are going to continue doing what we call chai and chat. Um, as you can see on the slide, we're going to do one in the mornings. And this is our time, Central Standard Time, 8 to 9 a.m. Uh, so that, And that will be on Zoom so that everyone can join who wants to join. And it's just going to be a time that we invite you to bring your chai, your tea, your coffee, whatever your, whatever you snack or drink that you want. And just come and let's talk. Let's hang out. Let's have a community online. Uh, and then there will be one on the afternoons of Wednesday that'll be in person. Uh, and that's usually in JSON. Uh, and we're going to hopefully get to be able to still do that. Um, again, all of these are based on what are the protocols, what are the rules as things continue to change. And I'm going to pass it off to Darren to talk about a couple of other organizations that have things going on that they want you to know about. All right, uh, a little bit about um, ICF, International Christian Fellowship. Um, we do, you've heard a lot about some of the programs that we already um, offer and have been offering. Uh, some of the, in addition to the English class, friendship partners, home groups, uh, we also host um, excursions as well uh, to one of them in the fall. Usually we take a trip to NASA at Johnson Space Center in Houston, uh, where we uh, tour uh, the facilities there, NASA, and we actually usually get to meet an astronaut. Uh, last year, we heard that one of the newest astronaut recruits, uh, Bob Hines, of the 2017 class. And so it's pretty neat to get to meet an astronaut. And so we typically do that. Um, we also take in the spring, take uh, camping retreats uh, to East Texas, a couple of hours from uh, Dallas area where we fish, canoe, uh, zip line, horseback ride. Uh, much more, um, but hopefully we'll get to do these trips um, again. But if not, uh, we're, we're we're working hard to try to give you that experience um, virtually, even and uh, even with uh, NASA uh, trying. We're trying to work uh, with uh, the group down in Houston to do something virtually to give you that, that same kind of experience. Um, so please check us out icfutd.org uh, for more information about that. We have a new uh, Instagram. Uh, handle uh, at UT Dallas ICF, or you can find us on Facebook at Friends of ICF at UTD. Um, there's also the next slide is RUFI. Um, and every uh, uh, week I mentioned David Billingsley is the uh, coordinator for that. His RUFI slide up. Yeah. Um, yeah, there it is. Um, so yeah, David Billingsley is one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Uh, he's uh, married and has two uh, beautiful young daughters. And so a uh, great guy. He's part of our uh, Big Howdy 
And so, um, uh, anyway, every Thursday they typically have a, a meal uh, on campus. That's going to look different this year, but you can connect with them. Uh, you see his uh, the email address, R-U-F-I-U-T-D at gmail.com, or you can connect with them on Facebook or Instagram, uh, R-U-F International at uh, U-T-D. And so uh, please check them out as well. Um, yeah, that's just a few of the organizations. Once again, we didn't have time to go through all of them. Uh, but those are just a few of the team, uh, Big Howdy team that we have that you will get to meet uh, throughout the course of the year. And so I'm going to turn to, if you go to the next slide, we're going to talk about something that's coming up on our uh, UTD Big Howdy uh, website. Uh, Jordan's going to talk about the iCampus coming. And so if you would go to the next slide and he'll talk more about that. Yeah, so something exciting that we have been working on the last couple of weeks has been the uh, iCampus. And this is something uh, that we are excited about. And as we've gone through this process of what does it look like to be able to have a community with students who aren't here? So for those of you who are still overseas that aren't going to be able to be here this semester and even for those who are here but are limited in getting to connect with people how do we do that and so one of the things that we came up with is having a website that is going to be interactive uh, that you will be able to communicate uh, together um, and with the different groups and organizations of the big howdy and our and our community volunteers so what you'll end up doing is you'll go to the Big Howdy website and there will be a tab that will say iCampus uh, and we'll try to make it really big on our website so you can just click a button and, and it'll take you there. Uh, and the first step is you're going to have to register as a student and we're asking you to use your UTD email because that'll make it easier for us to know, oh, this is a UTD student and, and who wants to be involved in this com online community. And so then you'll get approved. Um, after that, after that, and once we see that you, you've used a UTD email and things like that. Um, and then if you go to the next slide, we'll kind of show a little bit of the website so far. Um, on this website, you'll be, you see at the bottom that there's gonna be a live chat. And so you'll be able to chat with whoever's in the room um, and be able to build community that way. Uh, you'll be able to build your own profile. Uh, so whatever information you want people to know about you, um, you know, contact information or like just there's an about section so you can tell people who you are. You'll be able to share pictures um, and different things like that as well. And then you'll be able to join with groups um, like the BSM group or ICF group or the Big Howdy in general group. You'll be able to join these groups and, and have discussion in those, um, get to hear about what's going on. There's Zoom links uh, and different things like that. And so this is going to be a page that um, you're able to hear about campus news, get resources, and build community. And so we're really excited about this. And so we're hoping that you will join us um, in kind of this experiment of what does it look like to build communities online uh, successfully. And so uh, starting on August 4th, you'll be able to go here to our Big Howdy website, click on that tab, and then register. And then you'll be able to access everyone else who joins, pictures, resources, news, and all of that. And so we're really excited about that. I'm going to turn it over to Darren one last time, and he's going to share with you about our Big Howdy welcome party, which will be coming up. All right, if you would just uh, go to the, I think this is the last, one of the last slides we have. Yeah. All right. Well, that, that went good. Um, yeah, so Saturday, uh, mark your calendars uh, for Saturday, August uh, 15th. And this is going to be at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. I don't know what time that will be where you are, but if you go to the Central Time Zone, Central Standard Time, uh, CST, 9 a.m., uh, you'll get an opportunity to, um, to meet other Americans. You'll, we'll also have current UTD students uh, that have been here uh, that can answer a lot of your questions. Our goal is to um, is to do a, a it'll be via Zoom a Zoom call and doing multiple breakout rooms where you get the opportunity to introduce yourself where you're from uh, engage with other Americans and current students if you have questions for some of the current students that are in the Dallas area right now 
um, just a great opportunity to engage in the UTD community. Um, you'll get, get opportunities also to learn how to, you're in, you, you're virtually, if you're not already in Dallas, you can virtually be uh, at, at UTD and learn how to Texas line dance. Uh, we have a, a wonderful uh, line dance instructor that's going to teach you how uh, to do a Texas line dance, even in the, the comfort of your own home. In fact, we are probably going to do a competition and give prizes for the best line dancer. And so um, it's going to be some fun. Uh, different activities, um, but our goal once again is to engage you into um, the UTD culture into an American culture. And so if you would register at utdbighowdy.com uh, slash party registration, that is live, that's open right now, and you can go to that and go ahead and register for that party. And uh, we're looking forward um, to having a fun time um, with you guys wherever you are, whether you're in Dallas, uh, or in your home countries. Um, yeah, it's just going to be a great time. It's always, it's unfortunate that, you know, we have, we're not going to see you face to face as you see some of the pictures on this slide. Actually, these pictures were taken at last year's uh, welcome party. You see a food line, you get to see some of the experience, some of the tastes and sights of Texas in food and some of the culture. Uh, but we're going to try our best to do that virtually online. And so, um, yeah, here's some even some of the, the music that we have and just to give you an experience, a welcome party experience, uh, because you are you're welcome here at UT Dallas, uh, wherever you are uh, right now. And so just thank you for the opportunity to share a little bit about uh, Big Howdy. And I know we're done uh, probably just a little bit early with our slide presentation. We'd hope to uh, show you a little bit of uh, give you a little taste in video and audio of of uh, what we're about, uh, but uh, hopefully we can answer more questions that you have. So thank you so much, and uh, we'll go, I guess we'll go ahead and go into the Q&A. Thank you, Darren and Jordan. Yes, Big Howdy is such a wonderful team and they have amazing things. I'm looking forward to the Big Howdy welcome party. I. I will probably try to attend and might be attempting to line dance. Y'all can't laugh at me though. I'm a terrible, terrible dancer and it's very, very embarrassing. <laughs> However, we are ready for questions. So I'm actually going to turn it over to Tamara so um, she can read off some questions that we've been receiving. Yes, thank you, Katie. Um, well, so far we do not have any questions in the chat box as yet, um, but maybe people are just um, taking their time to come up with questions. Um, but for everyone who is listening, the comment section is, um, or the question and answer section is now open. Over to your right, um, at the top of your screen, you should see two little chat boxes. One of them has a question mark there. And if you click on it, you can type a question in. Um, what I've gone ahead and done, um, Jordan and Darren, is I've put the links that were in your presentation. I've posted them in the Q&A section. So anyone who was you know, wanting to find out, oh, what was that link for the airport pickup or what was that link for the English conversation class? Those links are all currently available in the Q&A section. Um, the Q&A section doesn't leave a lot of uh, design for formatting, <laughs> but I have put them in there as neatly as I could. Um, but for now, until we get some more questions in, um, Darren or Jordan, I was wondering if you could um, tell us maybe a bit more about um, last year's uh, big howdy welcome party. I know for us in intercultural programs, the the big howdy welcome party is usually attended by pretty much everyone that you know attended orientation, all the new incoming students, you know, all of those students plus the current students, they pretty much all show up. So can you tell us maybe a bit more about uh, what last year's event was like? Sure. So um, yeah, last year we if you were on the UTD campus, there's a big, huge outdoor um, area outside the student union called the Plinth area. It's right in front of the library. 
and uh, we set up our um, live band um, on the plinth stage uh, there um, we have free food uh, free activities games um, yeah live band uh, we had i think over 1500 uh, people attend uh, last fall's welcome party and so it was a it was just a the atmosphere was very um uh, just very lively and it was kind of loud, uh, hard to engage uh, because of the band being outside and so many people, but we have booths. We usually set up our organizational booths. We have home groups. All of our volunteers are there uh, to greet you. And so it's a great opportunity to just engage and sign up uh, for these groups, these different activities um, to take part in. And so we also have had a line dance caller uh, that was there. Uh, Last year, we've every year, uh, every semester actually, we have a, a line dance caller to, to introduce you to Texas. I'm not from Texas originally. I'm from California, so this is something new for me. I'm I'm with Katie. I don't have much rhythm. Uh, I'm not a very good dancer, but I like to watch and learn uh, other people dancing. And so we had a big group. Uh, it's just fun to see people from all over the world. Uh, take part and uh, learn how to dance uh, Texas style and so uh, but yeah it's a, just a uh, usually it's an hour and a half two hour uh, night uh, we evening we get to get together and uh, just to, to interact to meet you to exchange uh, information and then once that that's really kind of the way we uh, initially engage and then from there we follow up with you and so uh, we don't we know what you after the party, things usually get pretty busy with academics and schoolwork. Uh, but I would also encourage you, um, if it, you can get bogged down in academics, you have to be intentional about um, stepping away and taking a break um, and engaging in to learn more about American culture. And so whether you're uh, still in your home country, I would, I would encourage you to do that, to be intentional about doing that. Uh, because you signed up, you enrolled at UT Dallas. It's an American university in Texas. And so uh, you need to get the best you can of the American experience. And so I would strongly encourage you to kind of, uh, even though you get busy with your work and your classes and your projects and uh, presentations, you're going to get busy with that. Uh, set aside some time in your schedule weekly, uh, however often you need to, uh, to, 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 uh, meet with your friendship partner or your uh, to in, engage in your home group or whatever it is that you can do to experience American culture. You will not regret that time. I have never heard one student say, well, I spent too much time engaging in American culture. Not one. In fact, that benefits them uh, because you, not only do you learn more about the culture, you're also building your network and uh, your network is very important when you're in the U.S when it comes to finding jobs, job opportunities, um, uh, employment, uh, even uh, for, um, yeah, for, um, uh, yeah, for full-time jobs, for uh, internships, uh, you need that network. And so that's just another way you can do that. And so our many, over a thousand volunteers that we have are uh, highly networked in the Dallas DFW area. And so uh, please utilize that service that we have uh, available. But yeah, welcome party is just the initial way we do that to kick that off. So I hope I answered uh, some of the questions you have about the welcome party, but that will be August 15th and we'll do our best to kind of provide that same environment and same experience um, online. Yes, yes. Great answer. Thank you so much, Darren. And um, we actually did get another question that was asking about if the party was going to be all virtual. And I assume they're referring to the welcome party, but I believe you just um, addressed that in saying that, yes, all of our events will be um, entirely virtual. Um, you know, currently the way that things are right now, that is just the safest way for us to get to know each other um, and to and to stay well. Um, but to your point, Darren, you said something that I thought was um, very appropriate because, you know, you said you are you are paying for your studies here at UTD and it comes with so many other things with it. And I think a lot of students, I think they, they don't understand like outside of their classes, outside of the wonderful professors and instructors that we have, we have so many other resources that 
like, you know, me as an adult who's not in school, if I wanted to access all of these additional resources we had here at UTD and like even through Big Howdy, I would have to be paying a lot out of pocket, right? <laughs> and so there are just so many free services that come along with being a UTD student. Um, and rightly so, like you mentioned, you know, y'all have your English conversation classes and you know for some people who might not be in the united states maybe they are studying virtually etc um this is actually the the perfect thing to sign up because if you know that you would like help with english regardless of what level you are at if you're beginner intermediate or advanced i would say particularly if you are not in the country if you're not in america you absolutely should try to sign up for class because a lot of students they are paying out of pocket you know they're trying to find online tutors they're trying to go online and then they have to pay and all of these things when there is this free service here and you could save all of that money that you would spend you know paying someone to tutor you and you can sign up for this absolutely free class so there are just so many great services that come with utd because we're so experienced with international students and you know as you said the um, utd the Big Howdy team has been around for such a long time. We have all the experience. We um, y'all have the know how you know what international students need. You know the services to provide for them. So I just encourage everyone, please, um, if you have any questions or if you want to connect with Big Howdy, they're here to serve you. They, they are very experienced. They're not just trying to figure everything out right now. They have the experience. They have been doing it for years. And so they I mean, they just have everything ready for for everyone. So please, please reach out to them. OK, so um, we did get some more questions in and I'm trying to look through to see the ones that are applicable to this presentation. Thank you to everyone who has been posting questions. Um, I will um, present the questions, though, that are applicable to this particular uh, presentation topic. Um, so OK, I think this question will work. This says many people are starting virtually this semester and will join in spring. I think they mean will join in person in spring. Will they get a similar um, welcome orientation then? OK, sorry, I thought this this was maybe about like a welcome party. Um, maybe you could speak to that, Darren, as to you know, kind of what what you do for spring um, on the orientation front um, for our fall orientation that typically is a you know a two day orientation where we have the the live sessions like what we're doing now um and we don't typically do these live sessions for spring but you know you never know because honestly right now a lot of us don't know what spring will look like so it is a possibility but i would just say for as of now we haven't started planning for spring as yet because we have to wait to see what happens um but darren you know even if students you know all of the information we're saying is talking about fall right now but so if students are coming in in person in spring like is the is the furniture giveaway something that they can still access or you know uh, what what are the things that they can still access if they come in person in spring yes all of the services that we just went through will be provided a furniture giveaway in fact our our hope is that things will get somewhat normal and uh we could actually hopefully do some uh welcome party on campus in person uh but like tamara says that you know Time will tell uh, about that, but that's our goal is to always to meet, uh, engage with students face to face on campus. Uh, but if not, uh, we'll do another virtual welcome party. We'll have the same things that we typically do in the fall are also offered in the spring. Um, furniture giveaway event uh, usually is every fall once a year, but the but it's a year round program. So the registration form is always there. Uh, you can sign up for that and even you can have actually sign up for a preference. We have three options uh, preference for large pieces of furniture, such as if you want a couch or a dining table or, um, you know, a, a chair, uh, you can put your preference there and we take it based upon what we have available at that time. But yeah, that that's an ongoing service. And so um, once again, right now we don't do the uh, face to face event for furniture giveaway. In fact, part of the protocol is you don't have to even come with us. You can sign up on the 
the website and tell us what you need. We can go, um, I can go put it in my truck, drop it off at your apartment, which you would give me your address on the registration form and drop it off and you can take, take it from there. We don't even have to interact uh, to get your furniture. And so um, we want to help you as much as possible, uh, but we also at the same time uh, want to keep you safe and keep our volunteers safe as well. Yes, thank you, Darren. And that was a perfect answer. So hopefully everyone that is listening understood that even though we are throwing out these fall dates, um, we're saying so because fall is the next, you know, upcoming semester. But obviously the services that are provided by the Big Howdy team is provided all year round. So they, they will be here in the fall and they will be here in the spring as well. OK, Darren, so there is a question. I have uh, two more questions for you. Um, one of them is about the welcome party. Um, and please, you know, feel feel free to share as much as you know, um, you know, as many details as you have so far. Um, but the question says, how will the welcome party take place? Will it be another webinar? Um, I'm not sure if webinar is the, you know, probably they may just mean virtually. Um, how do we interact with each other? Will we shoot videos of us doing the Texas line dance and post it on Instagram? <laughs> Looking forward to the party. It sounds real fun. So this yeah, is it's, it, it's going to be, yeah, less informative, uh, more fun is really the, is our goal. So yeah, not like another webinar. So I'm going to turn it. Jordan's got something to say about that. He'll answer that question. Here's Jordan. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, for the welcome party, it is going to be more interactive. Uh, it's not going to be a webinar, uh, so it will be uh, a Zoom call, and uh, we will get that link out to y'all through uh, the ISSO. Also, once the uh, iCampus website is available, you'll be able to find the link for that party on August 15th on the uh, iCampus, and there'll be a registration link. Um, is already open and so if you want to go to our big howdy party and fill out the registration form um but it's going to be a zoom link it's going to be a zoom call and what we're going to do to try and make it as interactive as possible is we're going to have a time where a short time where we all are together uh but then we're going to break out into zoom rooms uh to allow us to get to know other people and so you're going to get to get in this group of maybe eight to ten different people in this in this group and you're going to play games together uh you're going to get to know one each other each other uh and we're going to have that kind of format so you might go to a big room and then a breakout another big room and then another breakout uh but you'll be with the same people in the breakout so hopefully you get to know uh some different people during that time but we're gonna like he said we're gonna have a contest games uh, we haven't figured out exactly how we're going to do the line dancing contest yet, uh, but that's a great idea to use Instagram. Um, and so thank you for that. Um, but we will, yeah, it's going to be more interactive. It's going to be a fun time. There'll be music, games. Uh, we really just want to have a welcome party. So that's what that's going to look like. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Jordan. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad that you clarified that, that it is going to be a party. It is not a lecture. It is not, you know, something like that. Um, it's a party um, and we can do that virtually, right? Yes. Okay, so um, there's another question here. It says, I'm unable to see the Big Howdy iCampus tab in the website. When will it be up? And when can I register to join virtually for this fall? OK, that uh, we're still working on that, but August 4th that should go live and then you will go to the UTD Big website. You'll see the iCampus logo and and, uh, and drop down and you can sign up August 4th. It should go live. So yeah, that's in a few days. Um, so yeah, just okay. be looking for that. That's a good way. This is something. I'm pretty excited about this actually. We've never had a uh, interactive platform uh, for students uh, to kind of interact with each other no matter where you are in the world. And so it's pretty neat. Yes, and you know that that is a good point because with all that, you know, everything is, is given us right now, it is given us uh, uh, some new opportunities 
you know, as you said, like the ability to have virtual parties hosted with guests attending from all over the world is something that we have never done before. So it is a new opportunity. And I, there was another question um, that was asking again whether or not these opportunities will be available in the spring. And, you know, as uh, Darren mentioned earlier, um, absolutely. Um, typically the big howdy welcome party though, Darren, that is a fall event that that is typically held. But for the spring, you know, right now um, we don't know what will happen in the spring. So, uh, you know, it, it's just something that we kind of have to wait on to see. But but I, I can re reassure everyone that is listening that as I said, UTD Big Howdy has been around for a very long time. Um, you know, I know some schools, um, you know, they they have international student population or some schools who are new to it. You know, they're trying to figure out what to do. We we have an established system. They have established programs. They have established events. There is no need to worry um, whether or not you will be able to participate in what is available. And the only thing that we're a lot of people right now are trying to figure out is the format. You know, how will things happen? Will it be virtual? Will it be in person? And as I'm sure a lot of you who are listening know that you know, a lot of people don't know what will happen in the future, but but the services and resources absolutely will be there. The question is just how will you access them? So that is just something that we want to wait until we, we we know that before we share it. But 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 the services and resources will absolutely still be there. OK, I have another question that just came in, Darren. Um, it says um, we need to give OK, I'm trying to trying to rephrase it. Um, it says we need to give the preference of furniture. When we get there, we cannot book anything from right now. So maybe they're asking about um, if they maybe have like a particular furniture item that they would like, you know, is there a way for the furniture giveaway? Like, is there a thing where you go and you like say, OK, I want a couch or I want, you know, a table or is it a thing of you just sign up and then when you show up in person, then you get to pick from what is there? That's that's correct. The latter. Uh, if you sign up and you're not here yet, obviously uh, we we may have your item, but uh, we go to whoever has the need and, and so we will not. Um, you know, delete your need. Uh, we keep that, uh, but it's primarily for those who come. Uh, we don't. And the thing is, this is a year round process, so we are constantly every week getting new do donations. Um, so it's not like we're going to somebody's going to take your table or your couch. Um, once you sign up for this and this is a genuine need that you have, uh, you're in, our, in the system. And so we'll and if but if you're not here, we'll go to the next one who is here and you make it available for them. When you do arrive, we will have new donations at that time. And so we'll, um, now what I suggest is wait to register for the furniture until you arrive and you ha actually have a need. Uh, the registration form is always there. And so, um, yes, just sign up once you arrive. If you sign up now and you're not going to come here until spring, um yeah you may you may be waiting uh for a while <laughs> you will be waiting for a while uh, and we want to make sure that you get what you need and so the best way to do that is when you arrive is go ahead and register at that time but yeah we constantly get new do donations every week in fact i have my truck is here uh, right now and it's packed full it's got two couches a uh, coffee table and two end tables all of that is in my one pickup truck right now as we speak once this session is done, I'm going to the storage unit to unload it and so to give to, to students who have need. And so it's an ongoing deal, never stops. But a great question though. 
Great, great answer, Darren. And um, yes, so hopefully that helps to answer your question. Um, you know, the the once again, the UTD Big Howdy team um, is very active on campus. They have a large network, a very, very large social network. So there are so many donations that come in, you know, from Americans, you know, who want to help and serve international students, also from international students, you know, who they have been through it before of coming here and not having anything. And when they are ready to leave, you know, they will donate as well. So um, it's a large network. And and resources um, will definitely be available. OK, well, um, that is it for the Q&A section. Uh, thank you so much, Darren. I will turn it back over to Katie. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, uh, everyone who participated in the Q&A. We hope you got your questions answered. Um, if you did not get your question answered, you are welcome to send an email to our team, um, icprograms at utdallas.edu, and we can um, help answer your question or also forward it on to Darren and Jordan for more assistance. And of course, please visit their website because they have so much good information. Also, keep a watch on your email. So Darren and Jordan are, um, as they said, finalizing all the details for the Big Howdy welcome party. And once they have all the links and all the specific information, we will be sending you a email, so an invitation. And that way you'll have the link to join. You'll have all of the information. But thank you again so much for coming. We hope you can attend our next session on Thursday. We will be having the Bursar office again about paying your tuition and fees. So everyone's favorite topic, right? We hope that you can join us on Thursday and we are so happy that you were able to join us. Thank you.